Hi everyone, it's Susan, ready for your workout for week number two. Today we're going to do a Tabata workout. As you remember, it's 20 seconds on and 10 second rest. And we're gonna just progress, so let's go through the first two work, first two movements. The first one is just like you're jump roping, so remember back on the playground, you're just going to turn that rope. You just, legs don't even have to leave the ground if you don't want to, so whatever pace. And the second one, here's my weights today. You can use dumbbells at home if you have them. You can do, use your cans or you can use water bottles. Today I'm gonna to use water bottles and we're going to, to do a side lat, shoulder height, back down. One arm comes forward, shoulder height, down, both, and then forward on the other side. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, are you ready? Let's get moving. Okay, get your jump ropes ready and we're ready to go. In about three, two, one, let's move. Just like your jumping rope. You can always take it down a notch. Remember, your feet don't have to leave the ground, or you can ramp it up, whatever your level is. Do each movement four times in a row. Okay, take a couple breaths, catch a breath, and we'll keep jumping. Here we go. You can be saying your rhymes at home, a jump rope chance. Here we are number two. Really get your arms moving. Okay, take a break. We're halfway done with jump ropes. Ready for number three. And away we go. Get a lot of movement, a lot of exercise with little or no equipment. Number three. Okay, take a deep breath. And get ready for your last one. Here we go. Really get your arms swinging. your heart rate up, your blood flowing, and grab your weights or your cans or your water bottles and we'll get ready for the lat raise to single. Okay, so we're going to go side shoulder height, one side, out to the side, other one to the front, side, front, side, front, side, front, okay, next one, okay, number two, side, front, side, front, Side, other side. Okay, number three. Halfway done with these. Make sure your shoulders are back. You're standing up straight, not slouching. This is number three. And one more. Here we go, last time.
Okay. Good with those. Okay, the next two. is a snowboarder and a squat and reach. A snowboarder, if you've ever been skiing, you're gonna go fast that way and fast this way, so. And then the other way. Or your own pace, you don't have to go fast. Really get some arms in there. Snowboarders. A squat and reach, I'm actually going to use the chair for this one, so grab a counter a table, a chair, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna hold on. I'm gonna squat clear down and reach clear up high. I'm on my tiptoes, so reach up high. And then I'll go to the other side for the next round. Okay, snowboarders. Starting about three. One side, then the other. Really get that middle working. Remember, you can slow it down, but really exaggerate that movement if you're slowing it down. Okay, number two. Couple of deep breaths. Ready for number three? You can listen to an ad while you're resting. One more. One more. One more snowboarder. You'll be ready to hit the slopes when we're done. You should feel this in your oblique muscles as well as being cardio. Okay, grab your weight and something to hold on to. I'm gonna hold my weight like this. Squat down, really reach up. to keep your shoulders back. Now I'm gonna go on the other side. So I transferred that weight to my other hand. And squat. And we'll go back to the first side, transfer the weight. Really try to stretch up. This is called a mermaid stretch. One more. Transfer your weight. Last one.
Okay, good job. Take a breath. Skaters and twist and punch. So we've done skaters several times. So you're just gonna skate across, come down only as far as you want to. Or you can stay up here. All different levels. A twisted punch, take both weights, and you're going to twist and then punch it out. Twist, punch it out. We're gonna do the same side, and then the next round, we'll go to the other side. So we'll get ready for your skaters. Push off, you need a little bit more. Trying to keep yourself pretty upright instead of hunching over like that. Try to keep straight. Okay, take a breath. Get ready for round two. If you need to slow it down, that's okay. Slow it down. Make the workout work for you. Okay, number three. How are you doing so far? Doing good? Number three. We'll be done with the cardio portion. This is your last cardio. Okay, twist and punch. Grab both your weights, about shoulder width apart, twist, punch, twist, punch. Punching at a diagonal, and it's about shoulder height. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the other side. Twist, punch, twist, punch, twist, punch, twist. Really working on our obliques today. You can slow it down if you want to. Number three, we'll go back to the first side. At your own pace. Twist, punch, twist. Maybe you're only going this speed and that's great. Again, make these work for you. Adapt them how you need to. And one more on the other side. Okay, last side. Whoop, twist, punch, 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 punch. Okay. Our last three. 
standing cross crunch, the marching bridges, and the locust pose. So, so the standing cross crunch, elbows straight out to your side, you're standing nice and tall, and you're just gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbow, like that. Okay, marching bridges, we've done bridges before. You take it up a slight notch here. So you're gonna get into your bridge position. Hips up as high as they can go. Take one leg up and down. Other side, up and down. You don't have to go fast, but we're just adding one more element. And the locust pros, we're going to finish off. We did this once in class with a nice pose that's going to really stretch out your whole body. So down on your tummy, arms are behind you, and just come up and just stretch. You should feel a nice stretch in your back. So we'll finish that. Don't forget at the beginning of your workout, you need to warm up for about five minutes. After we're done, I want you to cool down and do some of our stretches at the end of the workout. So let's get started with our standing cross crunch. Try to keep your elbows out. As high as you want to get your knees. Okay, one more. Elbows straight out. Should feel this in your obliques tomorrow. We did a lot of oblique work today. Remember, those are our love handles. Okay, let's do our marching bridges. Work back here and back of your leg. So get it up as far as you can go. And I'm going to alternate. Try to straighten your leg. Keeping your bridge pose the whole time. Okay, you can come down and take a breath. One more of those. Okay, up, far as you can go. Almost done with this. Okay, now let's roll over and do your locust pose. You feel that nice stretch in your lower back. My palms are up, shoulders, and my legs are up off the ground and I'm just going to hold that. This is called the locust pose, it's a yoga pose. And just let that gentle stretch. Take some deep breaths. Okay, one more, and then you'll need to cool down. Try to keep your shoulders straight, not slumped, but just kind of straight, relaxed. Easy breaths. And you are done with your Tabata workout. Hopefully you enjoyed it and come back to it anytime you need to. Don't forget to uh, cool down, do some stretches. Don't forget to drink a lot of water, get some sunshine. And if you need anything from me, I'm here for you. But I hope to see you guys really soon. Take care.